SKF sleeve kit. It's the repair sleeve area. I got a, a sealed area. This is where the seal used to rot. It's kind of corroded. It was messed up. I wasn't sure if the seal would leak. And I, I got this little bit unconventional inside of a vice here clamp, but it's going to hang on. Um, just trying to do a little demonstration on this, how these kits are used. So this is the ring itself. It has a little edge on it. So it's probably this pretty clean. You just clean the area up real good. I polished it out a little bit. I uh, was trying to actually fix the seal surface, but I'd rather put the seal on it than be risky. So we're going to pause here and I'll come back when I'm ready to they knock They say it seal is not needed, but I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit. Seal it just a, as a little extra precaution. It probably won't stay on it when I put it on, but I'm going to put a little seal on the inside of the ring. Let's see where I can see it. I'll probably rub that around all the way on the inside. I don't think it'll hurt any to put it in there. And I kind of believe it may actually help. But um, it's actually going to probably be wiped off most of it anyway. So let's see if you can see the crankshaft from here. No, I'm going to move it closer at the device. I don't have a professional camera, so sorry about moving around so much. See if I can do this. They're doing roofing next door, so you might hear some stuff in the background. All right. I place the sleeve over the crank. Kind of push it as straight as I can. And uh, SKF has these things. I'm gonna walk away for a second. And a vice clamped on a strong part of it. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. Doing everything like I say, but take the time, make sure this thing's pretty square. And you can knock it on. Tap on the thing. Go ahead and knock it all the way on. Very hard to, to move any, which is getting closer to the end of its spot where I need to be. You definitely don't need any sealer, probably, because it seems like it's pretty tight without it. It's a pretty good design. And uh, I'm going to wipe off the excess of stuff just to see if that edge is over where it needs to be to the chamfer. And it probably could go a little deeper right there, but I think uh, it's actually pretty sufficient. And I'm going to leave it there. Now, if you need this ring cut off, you can cut it off. They say cut it, put it in the lathe and cut it from the outside in. Or I guess if you use a grind and grind one edge of it right here, you can take a needle nose and twist it. And it should cut where they got a little seam in it. Again, I found these on the uh, SKF website. It's better. They have a lot of generic ones. Um, they got all different sizes. You measure the size of your shaft, and typically it's about 20 thousandths. Within about 20 thousandths of shaft diameters, they have they have a whole bunch of series of them. You pick out a number. I searched for it on Google. I find it happened to be the same one that goes on a Tacoma truck, but this is a Perkins diesel engine I had this on. But uh, very good, very good uh, rings to replace the seal area on crankshafts, gearboxes, and other things. This is Ron. Thank you for watching.